Hi, and welcome back. Today I was reading the comments on my YouTube uh, videos I I have out there, and one stuck out to me. It was from a viewer asking me to do a review on my low-pass filter, probably saw it sitting next to my radio. Uh, great for catching that. I didn't realize I hadn't done one. I think I had briefly mentioned about the filter. So anyway, we're going to do a test today with it and see how well it works. Uh, but first I thought I'd explain quickly what a low-pass filter does. Uh, a low-pass filter is built to allow roughly 30 megahertz and below the signal to pass through the filter. So if you have a signal above 30 megahertz, it's going to block that frequency from um, reaching your antenna. And if you're only running legally on your CB, that's not going to be a problem with four watts or below. But if you're running hundreds of watts, um, not so much today is back, God, I guess it's been four or five years, when TVs were still analog, the spurious emissions would drift over into the lower TV bands, um, mainly on channels two through five, and you would cause interference. So if you had an illegal lamp putting out hundreds of watts, you were going to mess up the TV signal of your neighbor. So they would probably know with that big antenna at your house that you were probably the source of their interference. So this filter, if your radio was not clean, would block those spurious emissions. So like I said today, um, we're digital on our TV, so that's not so much a problem. But I still wanted one on here um, just just to block any spurious emissions I, I have. So I'm going to demonstrate this on my 10 meter radio, which I have three power settings, low, medium, and high. And we're going to look at how much watts it puts out on those three settings and the SWR reading. Now, the 10 meter radio, the 10 meter radio I'm going to test, I picked up for $50. I did a recap on it. But I can tell someone's been in there before. And it's really going to show if they were playing around with the pots when we, when we do a wattage and SWR check without the filter and then look at it with the filter. Because uh, we're pro we will get higher wattage readings without the filter because of those spurious emissions are getting through without the filter and that will be generated as um, it will show as wattage in the RF signal. So let's go ahead, let's go hook it up and uh, run a test. But before I do that, I thought I'd tell you this is the RM Italy and it's the 27-586. Um, and it pairs well with if you have an RM Italy like uh, um, any of their amplifiers. So let's go ahead and let's go run our test. All right, we'll go over here to my radios here. And here we have the Conix. It is a 10 meter and 11 meter AM FM radio, no sideband. We have three power settings on it. So we're going to do a test on each power setting and see what kind of uh, watts it puts out, how much power it puts out on each frequency. And if this is running a little dirty, when we hook up the filter, the wattage should go down. Now this radio, I know it's been played around with. I did a recap on it, but it hasn't been tuned. So as far as I know, um, it could have been golden. Someone could have taken the golden screwdriver to it and played around with it and it may not be doing a clean signal. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And what I picked for a frequency, uh, let's make sure it's on FM, let's put it on FM. And I picked 
28.3053, which is the lowest frequency on 10 meter uh, because my dipole is really tuned for 11 meters. So let's go ahead. We'll start with We'll start with it on low. Let's first make sure it's calibrated. I think I have it calibrated. Yep. All right. So we're on low. Let's put the watty the let's put the watts on five watt scale, and let's go ahead and key it. And as you can see, our SWR is about. 1.3 and our watts are right around five. All right, let's go ahead to medium setting. Let's see, is our calibration still on? No, our calibration's off, so let me go ahead and set that. All right, I calibrated the SWR meter and we are now on the medium power setting. So if we go ahead and key the mic, we're putting out probably around 12 or 13 watts. And our SWR is, looks like about a little bit over 1.3. All right, we're still on the 50 watt scale. And we're putting out about 24 25 watts and our swr reading is 1.4 so what we're going to do now is go ahead and hook up the filter and we'll take a look all right we have it hooked up so you run the coax from the cb to the rtx connection here and then you run another um, coax from the antenna to what I do is go over here to the um, my SWR meter that's on as you can see transmit and then to the antenna so let's go ahead and give it a try and see what we get all right let's power it on Again, we're on 28.3053, and let's set our SWR meter to 5 watts. We're on low, and let's go ahead and calibrate it again. All right, I have the radio set on low with the filter installed, and let's go ahead and key it up and see what we get. We're right around just shy of four watts with an SWR reading of 1.2. All right, I have the radio now on medium power. Let's go ahead and key it up and see what we get. Oops, we have it on five watt. We want 50 watt. Let's do it again. So we're right around eh, maybe 11, 12 watts. And our SWR is probably 1.35. All right, we're on our last test. We have it set on high, the radio. I have calibrated the SWR and let's go ahead and dead key the mic. So we're running right around 20 watts with a reading of right around 1.4 on the SWR. So looking at these readings, comparing the two, we can see that the SWR was very similar with the filter and without the filter. But where we really see a difference is the wattage. If you look on the low power, without the filter, we had five watts. With the filter, we had 3.9 watts. On medium, we had around 12 watts with no filter and 11 watts with the filter. 
And the really big difference I saw was hot when we had the high setting, which was 24 watts without the filter and 20 watts with the filter. All right, so there you have it. Filter is doing its job. And now I know my 10 meter radio is not putting out a clean signal either. As you could see, there was a five watt difference on the high power setting. So that just shows you um, someone probably had messed around with the radio. So thanks for watching. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and all my existing ones. Uh, if you're not, if you don't yet subscribe and you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand. So I will see you next time. And again, thanks for watching.